Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Hey traders, we're gonna be looking at the indices uh, in this video. Also silver and gold, also something interesting happening with that. And also the US dollar. So before I get straight into it guys, um, I've just added to the Master Trader Lab a two hour interview with my millionaire mentor. And he talks about how he went from blowing uh, blowing two different trading accounts up to then becoming a seven-figure trader. And he also talks about how he made almost $2 million in one single trade. If you'd like to learn more about that and get access to this two-hour drilling interview, then I've added that to the Master Trader Lab and you can get a free trial to that. Go to mastertraderlab.com to grab your free trial. Now, let's go straight into the markets right now. Now, what's happening in the markets? The first thing that I must say, guys, is this. There, there is a, a lot of things that's happening in the, in the markets right now as we speak, right? There's a lot of things that's going on right now. And the, the one thing is that the, the, the thought is that, that this, market is gonna, is, this market is going to crumble and we're going to go down. And the, the market, the, my videos for the last week have been quite bearish in, in saying that, you know, I'd say that there's a really good target. There's a really good chance we're probably going to head back down towards these levels through here. So the I don't think that we're at the top of the market just yet. If you if you watch if you listen to my video yesterday I talked about how that that the the sentiment in the the sentiment in the public really gives you a good reading of where everything's at. Now what I mean by that is that if a lot of people are bearish in the markets, that's quite bullish for the markets. If a lot of people think that the market's going to crash, like they did through all 2015 and 16, guess what? Everyone was saying it's going to crash, right? What happened? We went through, as you can see, right? Went through a big, massive boom. So I don't think we're quite at the at the top yet. I still think, this is just my thoughts here. I, I'm not trading based on this, but just by the sentiment of what I'm seeing in the marketplace right now, a lot of people are bearish. So even if we do get a bit more of a downturn, we may be we may be getting ready for another big move to come in the markets and why i say that is that as you can see here right what what the market has done is this as you can see let me go back to here look at this here when the market goes when the market has a move up through there uh what is that that is obviously the market moving right and then the market goes sideways for a while. what is the, when the market's gone sideways what does that mean it's resting refueling then it's gone for a run and we pretty much gone sideways for a while Makes sense. So if we if we hold here, even if we head down for a little bit more and hold here, that's still a nice higher low, and we could be getting ready to break out to the upside and then head up to a thirty thousand hour. Now, obviously, this is a weekly chart we're looking at here, so that that could be months away. Now, just bear in mind, guys, that that could happen, right? So even if the market does come back down through to here, that that could happen, and and. I'm I'm viewing on the side of that possibly forming over the next uh, over the next six to twelve months of that happening, and maybe at maybe at maybe next year, maybe next year that's when we're going to start to see the bear market. I don't know. We've just got to keep flowing with the markets here, but there's a lot of sentiment that is very bearish out there. I'm seeing so much bearishness. Even some of my mates they're sending me all these videos. It's like <laughs> it's like it's like hang on a minute. What's the opposite here? Makes sense. And so. I'm just providing the facts for you here, so just be careful about that, guys. Again, we we this is, again we're looking at the weekly chart here, but we may be getting we may we, we may be getting ready for a bit more downside. But if we do get a bit of a downside movement through here, then remember, as long as it stays above the fifty percent, then a nice fifty percent retracement and a continuation is actually a nice healthy move to the upside. And once again, bear in mind if we do get that high low, due to the fact that we've had all this sideways movement, which is a resting phase. Have you heard, ever heard the analogy the calm before the storm? Well, what's happening in the in the in the last sort of couple of you say, last sort of couple of years, right? Last year and a half has the market done nothing, right? Pretty much just gone sideways. What does that mean? That means when we do break either up or down, if it is up, if we break that twenty seven thousand down, you better believe that we're, we're you better believe that we're on our way to thirty thousand down. Now that may take six months of nice upward movement. You know, we go up for a few weeks and then sideways for a few weeks. You know what I mean? Like not just straight up, not vertical, not in one day, not in one week, right? I know there's some people out there that say we're going to get a vertical spike, um, but that could possibly happen, okay? So just keep an eye on that. The next thing I want to share with you is gold. 
uh, that's silver. Forget silver for a minute. But go, uh, but gold. Look what look what's happening with gold right now. All right, we're starting to um, form a bit of a base through here, aren't we? And as you can see here, let me bring this right in. As you can see, all right, we're still forming this little bit of a base here. Lower high, lower high. Still, um, sort of just squeezing up into this stronger pattern, isn't it? So if we start to get a bit of a break to the upside here, this is the daily chart here. Okay, so bear with me for a minute. If we get a, if we maybe if we get to start to get a bit of a sideways movement, and then we get a break back to the upside. Guess what? That's actually a bullish move, right? Because even though it's a descending triangle, meaning the market's going down, if we break to the upside, that could be quite a bullish move. And if that does happen, then I'll have a target of back up to here at 1340. Now, remember, that's the daily chart. Let's go to the weekly chart now and let me share with you what I'm seeing through here on the weekly chart. What's the weekly chart telling us? Let, let me take everything off the screen here for a minute. Right, and then what is the weekly chart telling us? The weekly chart t is telling us what? We've had a nice strong move up. We've had this weak pullback. This is now a higher low. If we actually even bring up the Fibonacci tools from the low to the high, you can see that it only retraces the 30% retracement, right? From this big, we had strong move up and then a weak pullback so far on the weekly chart. So if we do get what I just said on the daily chart, what's going to happen to the weekly chart? We're going to start to get what? This. And if that happens, and this is the higher low, guess what? Oh my goodness, that could be, this could be the little, um, the, the the little movement, right, before the breakout to the upside. And um, and that's what I call a blast off move. You know, if you know anything about the, if in the Master Trader Lab, um, we, again, you can get a free trial to that. Um, I've got two incredible trading systems and one of them is called the blast off system. And that's the pattern I look for before the breakout, like the little high low. Again, in the Master Trader Lab, you can see all the details, like step by step what I'm talking about there. Um, but that's what I'm looking at there. Right? It's like, oh, isn't that incredible? So. Really, really, really interesting stuff there, guys, that I'm noticing through there. Now, also, let's go to UUP. One thing I'm also noticing on the US dollar, now, again, my software can't bring up US dollar, so I've got to use the UUP. That's why I'm using the UUP. Look what's happening here. Isn't this interesting? It's, it's, a, it's a rising rising wedge, right? And once again, just going sideways here, not much happening. So this is really interesting through here to, to see what's happening because if we look at gold, right, gold looks like that it may be, could be, well, again, we need to wait for the breakout first, but gold looks like that it may be trying to want to break to the upside. If that happens, this rising sort of wedge through here, if we start to get a break down from here, because we've gone up. Now, remember guys, when the market goes up pretty pretty strongly without any decent pullback, we've had a little pullbacks here, right? What does that equal? That equals a pullback, right? At least a 50%, maybe even close to 50% pullback. When the market goes up like that, pretty strong, then we could be heading down here in the US dollar soon if gold is gonna to start to break to the upside. Now, as, as like if we, if we go back to, let me show this here, if we go back to the Dow Jones, what I'm talking about, actually, let me just go back to the S&P here for a minute. Right, this is the S&P, right? Look at this here. See how see how strong this was through here? See how, this, see how strong this move was? in the S&P, see how we had little pullbacks, right? But it was very vertical, and now we're getting a pullback. If we go back to the UUP, that was the daily chart on the S&P, but very similar. Actually, let's go to the daily chart on, on the UUP here. As you can see, right, we've had just a very nice move up, but that weekly chart really says it all. Uh, look at that, look at that through there. Notice how we've done very something, see this weekly chart on the, on the UUP, the US dollar? See how that's very similar to what we talked about or what we talked about in the S&P 500, right? So we're getting very, very, very similar um, information through there. Makes sense? So that's what I want to look at through there, guys. And lastly, what I want to talk about, guys, uh, in this video is I want to talk about your belief in the markets, okay? Your belief in the markets. Um, it's so important that you continue to work on your belief that, yes, you too can become an amazing trader. You are an amazing trader. Just got to understand those foundations to, to doing really well. One of the biggest things that stops traders from doing well, apart from some other things I've talked about in the past, first, you need to know exactly what you're looking for and then only taking that. But one of the biggest things that stops traders, okay, I'm talking about trading in the markets where you're actively getting in and getting out on an active basis, maybe holding it for one, maybe for one to, you know, one to five days or a couple of weeks, or maybe, maybe for, for, you know, maybe, maybe for, if you're trading intraday chart, maybe it's, maybe it's one to five bars, makes sense, or something like that. Anyway, so you're a very short-term active trader. You're not holding it for six months, 12 months, two years. You know what I mean? 
You're a very active trader. One of the biggest things that stops traders from doing well is that they try to make money on every single trade. They try to be right. And one of the biggest things that stops you as a trader is that you're trying to be right, i.e. try to make money in every single trade. So therefore you're trying to pick the trades that you think is going to make money. Guess what Murphy Law says? Murphy Law says smack, right? Every time you do that, the trades you don't take, the trades you don't take, the, they actually make a profit and the trades you do take, they, they don't make a profit. So it's so important that you have, when you're trading, that you trade an amount where you're not scared. You're like, okay, I'm taking this trade because I know it's my plan. I've done the right thing. I've waited for a good setup. I've waited for my plan. Here's my plan. I'm going to take the trade. What happens after that? I don't know. I don't care because I know if I take this exact same setup 20 times in a row, 90% of these are going to make a profit. Actually, 95% of them. And the other ones are going to have losses. I don't know. I can't handle the outcome. You know what I mean? On this individual trade. And what a lot of traders do, right? They stop. And I, I, you know, working with my private clients these days, I've been trying to get them to to, to, to do that, right? And my next coaching session, I'm going to be really talking a lot about this, but stop trying to be right with the market. People would rather be right than rich. And that's that whole saying there. And so you too can become an amazing trader. Stop trying to make a million dollars in one trade or you know, a, a lot of money in one single trade because you're trying to look for that home run and active trading is not like that. Active trading is like, okay, I'm putting my trade on right now and if I do have a loss, if this is a loss, I've, I've done the right thing by waiting for a good setup. That was my job. My job was to wait till a good setup appears that meets my trading plan. And only that. Cool, I've done that. I know it could be 80% success rate for you. I don't know. It could be 70% success rate for you. I don't know. But if this is a losing trade, you've got to say, then my account is not hurt too much then, you know, and, and you've got to look at it as that, right? So say, for example, you had a $20,000 trading account, but then you had, call it a $300 loss. Would you be really upset about that? Not really, right? Expe especially, right? Especially if, especially if you know the next trade, then the, 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 the uh, if you had a $200 loss, let's call it, three, let's call it a $300 loss, right? Would you be upset about that? Not really, right? Because if that was a losing trade, cool. But what if the very next trade you took gave you a $2,000 profit or a $1,000 profit? Do you see what I'm saying there? And that's what can happen, right? And so it's, it's so important that when you're trading the markets that you can become a really good trader. Just stop listening to this crap out there. Stop trying to be right with the market. Stop trying to stop, stop trying to predict what's going to happen tomorrow and stop trying to think you know you're smarter than the markets and all this sort of stuff because you're not. The way to active to A to actively generating income in the market is one, understanding that you're going to have some losing trades. That's just part of the parcel. Two, when you do have those losing trades, are you protecting yourself? And three, You've got to trade an amount where the wins are not exciting you and the losses are not hurting you, right? And so, um, so, so for example, just say for example, you had uh, call it call it a twenty thousand dollar trading account again. Trade say, and say you're trading a thousand dollar trades, right? You're trading one thousand dollar trades. Now, the way that I like to work is uh, I'm using this as an example, right? The way that I like to work is that you know if I have a loss, I might have I, I might have a forty percent loss on that one. You know, I might have 40 or 50% loss in that one. So I call it 400, I'm trading a $1,000 trade, right? Call it a three, $400 loss. But then the very next trade, the very next trade, like recently I had a 200, almost, almost a 200% profit. You see what I'm saying there? So you just don't know and you've got to balance that out and try to stay emotional. If you cannot afford to lose any money in your trading account, that's what's going to happen every single time because you're so emotionally trained and so emotionally drawn into that that you can't afford to lose that. And if you can't afford to lose it, please don't be trading, okay? Because um, it's not the fact that you want to lose it, but you're so scared of losing it that you just start to make all these wrong mistakes. You'll get in when you think it's a good idea and all this sort of stuff, and it stops you from doing really, really, really well in the markets. You can become an amazing trader. Focus on one setup. Secondly, just uh, you know, when you're trading, when you when you're trading in a, when, when you're trading the markets, 
You need to trade an amount that if it is a losing trade, except upfront before you put the trade on, if this is a losing trade and it is out and it is at say my maximum loss, then or my average loss, then is it going to hurt my account too much? And if the answer is no, it's not going to hurt your account too much, then good, you're, 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 you're at a really, really, really good level. That's where you want to be, right? Because that's what's going to keep you calm in trades. So many traders, uh, the, this, um, and this actually happened just recently <laughs> with, with, um, with one of the trades, right? We, um, with me and my private clients, we all, we all got into the trade at the exact same time. Uh, we all noticed it and so on and so forth, my private clients. We all got into it and the market went against us just slightly for a few days those traders that I had just a bit too much on, guess what happened? They jumped out really, really quickly because I was scared of losing money, right? But me and the other, me and some other private clients, because we're trading the amount where the losses, if this is a loss, okay, cool. Um, but if the losses are not hurting me, guess what ended up happening? That turned into a really nice profit. Now, I, I made a nice profit, and then I just had one of my private clients say that they just got out of that exact same trade for 300% profit. I didn't get that at all, but um, but he did, so that was pretty cool. So I'm so proud of my private clients. They're absolutely rocking and rolling that. So anyway, guys, I hope you can see what I'm saying there, right? Like, you may be trading well, but if you're... but if you're trading an amount where the losses are not hurting you, you can stay emotionally calm. And by actually trading less on your account, you actually make more money in the long run. Does that make sense? Because if you're making, if you're trading an amount where you're very, very scared of losing money, guess what's going to happen all the time, right? You're going to do exactly what some of my private clients did just recently. They got out really, really quickly because they're scared to lose money. When the plan said there was no need to get out of that trade, still get a bit more time. And, uh, and then a lot of the times that actually ends up running on to making a profit. So you too can become an amazing trader. You are an amazing trader and I have faith in you and I believe in you and you can do this. Start small, stop trying to make home runs and say, okay, you know what? Over the next two to four, two to four years, I know if I, even if I start with a $5,000 trading account, trading real small amounts, I know over the next, next couple of years, two, four, five years, that yes, I can be generating a multiple six figure income from this $5,000 trading account, but I gotta be disciplined at sticking to one setup and then having small trades and not trying to make home runs every time. And before you know it, that's, that's when things start to snowball in front of you. Hey traders, well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I've just recorded a brand new training walking you through my number one and the most powerful trading system on the planet. I'm gonna be walking through all the details plus the three secrets to absolutely crushing it in the trading. If you're struggling with the trading right now, you absolutely must see this. Very first thing in the description, click on that right now.